Down in the station, huh? Alright. We don't have enough as it is! You can't do this with everything happening right now! Yes, I understand that, but if you just give us time, we'd be able to- Shit! Morning, Lou. Something up? Not looking good. All these homicides happening in the city. And now the mayor's cutting our budget. We can't work like this. Well, you're lucky that the Brahms PD is sending over people such as myself. We're always willing to help another town in need. It's still a lot. I understand. So what's the case? Henry Sullivan shot and killed his family, then hung himself in the garage. His wife was pregnant. Jesus Christ. It's messed up. It's like this entire town is going crazy. So where are we starting? The husband had an acquaintance that wanted to help and talk to us. I'll go get him. He's in the waiting area. Alright. Over there. All right. Please take your seat. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. It's not an issue. <clears throat> State your name for the record. Tom Sanders. Mr. Sanders, do you swear that everything you say from here on out is true? Yes. All right. How did you meet Mr. Sullivan? I moved into the neighborhood. He was next door. He introduced himself to me, and he became a friend of mine. Did you know him well? I've known him for a few years. Me and him hung out from time to time. He was always kind to me and everyone he knew. Did this seem like something he'd do? No, never. It's very out of character. Henry loved his wife and children. He was very protective. Maybe he had his true feelings. Too. But I don't think it would. Do you think there's any possible motives? Uh, I wouldn't exactly say this was. He lost his job recently. But he seemed hopeful of finding it out. But even if he was angry about it, I don't think he'd take it out of his family. <clears throat> so it seems like a, a Mr. Sullivan wouldn't have uh, done anything to intentionally hurt his family. And he still did it. Do you know why? Perhaps we shouldn't be surprised. Hmm? This is happening all over the town, isn't it? People losing their jobs, killing their loved ones, others ending up on the streets. Don't forget that strange symbol that's been appearing around. Yeah, it's chaos, but we're doing our best to handle it. What are you saying, Mr. Sanders? Maybe, for Henry, there is more to it than just losing his job. Maybe there is something stressing him out. Maybe he's got something to do with that symbol. Are you suggesting that someone else was behind this? I don't know for certain, but I can't say this whole thing isn't suspicious. How exactly do you know Mr. Sullivan again? We got the crime scene photos you wanted. Give me, Lisa, there's a monster inside me? What does that mean? I always say that or something along those lines. It's strange. Very. I should really email you all this. Uh, you're staying at the that hotel, right? Yeah, uh, send me this there. I'll start some work on this. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Doesn't seem in character for Mr. Sullivan. It's off. Strange, in fact. I swear, there's got to be more to it than just a murder suicide. Everything about this case just seems wrong. 
God damn it, Jeffrey, you're talking to yourself. I could use some sleep. Jesus. Christ, I'm tired. Mr. Sanders? Hello, Detective. I didn't realize you were staying here. I couldn't stay in my home after what happened. I, um, I understand. Uh, sorry for coming in un unannounced. It's alright, Detective. Would you like to talk? Sure. This is a strange room you're renting, Mr. Sanders. Mr. Sanders? Oh, oh, sorry. I'm not really in the mood to talk about anything right now. Please, call me Tom. Alright. So terrible what happened to Henry and his family. Strange, too. It's got me thinking. How would we identify something as a flower? Excuse me? Suppose we plant a flower, and it grows. Then you take a seed. From. And you put it in the ground. That flower grows. It becomes exactly like the original flower. Is that new flower the same flower? Why not? It's not so simple. Suppose. Suppose that the Henry Sullivan that murdered his family wasn't the ha same Henry Sullivan that, you know, you or I knew before. Are you sure the only. You... is... you, officer? <laughs> so, you're a philosophy lecturer? I teach linguistics, actually. Where? Nearby. No, really. Where? Oh, you know, around. Freelance work, huh? Not uncommon these days. It's hard to get a permanent job. Yes, that reminds me of something. Have you ever heard of the Flaros? No. I've looked up this town. It has a fascinating history. Apparently the Flaros was an ancient artifact connected to another world. Somehow, it ended up here. Group of people used it for unknown purposes. This was apparently 80 years ago. Where are you going with all this? I guess I'm just grasping straws. Tom, you're tired. You've been through a lot. You should go to sleep. Yeah. I might see you at the station tomorrow. You must be joking. Who are you? It doesn't matter. You have to help me, please. I didn't kill my family. It wasn't really me, please. You have to convince the others. I know you're trapped here! Unbelievable. Power outage and in this goddamn fog. People seem pretty riled up. Can you turn that damn radio off? 
just hope we get there in one piece. Something wrong? I'm not sure. All of this seems... off. What if it wasn't Henry that killed his family? Now isn't the time for jokes. No, I'm, I'm serious. What if someone, like, framed Henry or used him? I, I don't know. Everything about this case just gets weirder and weirder. Look, if Henry was still alive, he could defend himself. But he's not. I get what you mean about this being suspicious. I feel it too. And if any evidence comes up that proves that it wasn't him, then you'll be the first to know. But it seems way too obvious that it was... Jenkins! What the hell are you doing? We'll help you out. Hello? Is someone there? Help me! Oh shit! I can't see! Help me! Help me! <laughs> what? What the fuck? We regret the report of the murder of a wife and her two children by their husband and father. The father purchased a rifle used in the crime at his local gun store two days earlier. This brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family.
Nika. Shit. Take my gun. Don't you have your own? I, I don't. No, I don't. You should. Come on, we can get through. Jenkins? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Back up. Fuck. <sighs> what the hell? Something is very wrong with this place. No kidding, Jeff. I saw myself. I saw me leaving the station. Are you sure the only you was you? What? Uh, it's something Tom Sanders said to me. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. This was all. You're responsible for this? No. Not exactly. You slippery bastard! You let us here! No. I meant to. I should kill you for this. Enough! Look, killing him will solve nothing. Besides, he wouldn't have come here if he meant to do this. This was intended to prevent this from happening. This time has trapped me in the loop over my own guilt. Failed to save Henry from what happened. What do you mean, this, this town? It's hard to explain. All I know is you need to get to the church on Bradbury Street. All your answers are new. I can't come. Break the loop. I will, Tom. I'm coming with you. After all this shit that's out of me, I... I can't not see how this ends. I understand. I guess we've got no choice to head over that. Stealthy, right? We don't know anything in here. You take the left, I'll take the right. Shit, it's Henry. How the fuck? Alright. Door's Let's fucking locked. The door's locked. I can't I can't open it. Not for fucking long. Yeah. Put your hands in the air. Bro Rotrum. How the fuck are you alive? How do you know I'm alive? How do you know you're alive? Oh, well, we know I'm going to be dead. Yeah. Just because I can feel my heart beating. Is that truly really your heart? That is the figment of your imagination. No. What the fuck are you on? Oh, you know nothing. Maybe it's just a uh, silent. No. Oh. Are you behind this shit? It's all happen happening? Yes. It was me all along. I find everything. All of it. How? Bastard. That's not very nice, is it? You know, I just wanted to start a few people to finally stop it for the order. Alright, let's move. Alright, let's do this. Wait. Stop. What the fuck? What in the... Wait, what that's... Order? Us. Just wait out of here. Friend. 
I should fucking kill you for what you've done. Ah, please do. It'd be f lovely if you did. Piece of shit. Fuck, how are we gonna explain? I don't think there's much left yeah. to explain, huh, Lou? We don't have to explain anything. He's already dead. Alright. Oh. Well, what a shame. The fuck uh, is this? Suppose you got further than me. Let me end this. Get down the ground. Get down, Get down the, the ground. ground. Oh. Die. Okay. You don't. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a jury of your peers. Alright, that's enough. He's dead. Fuck. I hate the paperwork for this. On approximately July 6th of this year, Officer Liu and Detective Jeffrey were assigned to a case involving the murder-suicide of Henry Sullivan and his family. According to Officer Liu, they found that Henry Sullivan appeared to actually be alive, and that he had actually faked his death in order to appease a cult. Officer Liu did not know what this cult that Henry Sullivan speaks of, however, I believe... It involves the Order, which is a case I've been following for many years now. Unfortunately, Henry Sullivan was gunned down.